we're going to set up some, some lights. Uh, because when I talk about shaders, this is a whole system. Uh, and shaders basically is how the light interacts with the surfaces. Uh, and the light interacts with the surfaces by the type of light that it is, and also the materials that gets placed on the surfaces. So if it's wood or if it's metal. Uh, so a combination of those two things of lights and material, which you're going to work with something called shaders. And we're going to talk about lights. And I might actually have you go ahead and create a light so you can see how this works. But what I want you to do here is go into your viewport, and we want to change this to texture down at the bottom. So right after object mode, we want to change this to texture. We're going to get this really terrible lighting situation here. Which is fine. This is what it looks like here for now because of the lighting that I've set up already. Uh, what I want you to do here is we're going to add up to the very top, we're going to add a lamp, and I want you to add a point light. And these light types here, they all work exactly the same way uh, as far as they illuminate surfaces, but they do it in a different way. A uh, point light uh, is basically a light that illuminates from a specific point, so you can think of like light bulbs, candles, stuff like that. Uh, there's a sun lamp, which you know, ironically works exactly like the sun, lights everything in one direction because it's a very large light source. Spotlights, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Hemisphere lights are like the sky, it's a big dome kind of light. Uh, and area lights, uh, which aren't really necessarily light sources, but like this window is a big opening and then this whole area is emitting light. It's not, it's not illuminating from a point right here in the center, it's illuminating the whole area. Basically, an uh, area light uh, you can change the size uh, of the light source. Uh, like those big panel lights they have in photography, stuff like that, you probably use area lights for that kind of stuff. So they have a, a wide array of uh, options here for lighting. Uh, point lights are the easiest, that's why we're going to work with those right now. So go ahead and click on point. It's going to throw your point light wherever your 3D cursor is. So it looks like mine is beneath the floor, which is rather inconvenient. So I'm going to bring it up here, and you can see that it's going to light this world here in real time, wherever I place this guy. But what we're going to do is actually put a light bulb inside of my little lamp here. And Remember, if we're going to do specific placement, and we need to be accurate about this, we do not want to be in perspective view, because that is not going to let me determine accurate dimensions, because if I go like this and say, wow, right there, it's inside my light. Well, if I spin my camera, it's about three feet off of it. So I'm going to switch to my top view, and I'm going to place the light bulb inside of the lamp housing. I'm going to switch to another view, either the front or the side. The side might be a little bit easier, so you go to view, uh, left or right, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to click, make sure that this is up inside of the housing here. Uh, you can see we have some issues here as far as realism goes, because our light is going through our lampshade. Uh, that's because we cannot calculate shadows in real time. At least not the kind that we're going to use. Another property tab up here when we have a light selected. It'll look like the actual light that it is. So we have a point light settings tab. Uh, and this is really, really easy. Light, lights are pretty easy to work with, not really much to do with them. Uh, you have to choose what kind of, kind of light it is, which we can actually change it after the fact as well. And we have point light selected. 
can change to any of these on the fly. Uh, the other thing that's important is shadows. And each, there's tabs for each one of these guys here, or panels, I guess. Uh, does it cast shadows? Does it not cast shadows? Pretty easy there. And the sampling here. Um, the higher the sampling, the softer the shadows are going to be, the more accurate they're going to be. Also, the longer it's going to take to render. So I'm going to go into my software here. Uh, here's my point light settings. Uh, I'm going to turn on ray shadow down here. That will turn on my shadows in the rendering process. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that just so you can see the changes that I made. You, you saw what this did look like. It's pretty, pretty gray, really. It's still pretty gray at this point. Uh, but we will have our lights coming from our lampshade. <coughs> you can see it's very faint down here. Should also be on the couch. So we can see we have this area down here that's being illuminated by this lamp. So we're placing these lights in the scene here. I set up basic lighting already, but I, I haven't turned any shadows on really at all. Uh, and if there's anything that's important uh, in 3D for realism, which one of my students can answer that for me? What is the most important thing for realism in 3D? Lighting, thank you. I hope everybody can answer that. As I said, every one of my classes, it is cute. That's, that's actually number two. <laughs> so let's go ahead and we're going to, um, I've placed lights around here, a few lights around the scene. Uh, if you have rendered that, remember to hit escape and we get back to your regular render window. I've placed a sun outside. This little guy up here, floating way up high in the sky. And I've also placed an area light right in the window here. And it's the same size as the window opening that's, that's projecting uh, illumination into the room. So it, if you click on any of these light sources, uh, then we can go ahead and adjust some of the properties for these lights. So we're going to start with this area lamp right here in the window. If I click on this guy, I click on the little light tab there. Uh, we don't need to change the area shape. I've already made it the, the correct size of the opening. That's fine. Uh, but it's not casting shadows, <coughs> which isn't very good. So we want to This is way up high. Uh, you have to zoom way out. You see this guy floating up here in the sky above your room. Uh, we want to turn ray shadows on for him as well. So now that we have shadows on all of our lights, uh, this is going to look uh, a lot different than it did before. Because now these surfaces that you've created, in this case just the coffee table, but uh, if you've created the room or whatever kind of geometry, uh, whatever surfaces are in the room are actually going to block light now. shading and shadows based on the position, the rotation, and all that uh, of the different light types that you placed in there. Uh, the other thing that we can turn on here uh, is a world lighting system or an environment light. Uh, this is actually in the world tab over here because this isn't for per object, this is for the whole kind of 3D scene that we have set up that will illuminate everything. 